In this video, we will be discussing and learning about the German invasion of Poland. The invasion of Poland marks the official start of the Second World War, and was a showcase for the German Wehrmacht, Waffen-SS, and their brilliant new strategy, Blitzkrieg. In the early hours of September 1st of 1939, German troops dressed in Polish uniforms attack a German radio station in Gliwice, and to make it seem more reliable, bodies were even left behind. Adolf Hitler would use this aggression as a cause to wage a war on Poland, when in reality, he had been planning the invasion for months. At 8 a.m. on this first day of the Second World War, German troops push aside the border into Poland and begin their mobile advance, although much of the travel was carried out on foot or by horse. By 1939, the German army consisted of 1.5 million men, and its prize units were the famed panzers. These tanks were organized into six armored divisions and four light divisions, which were to be used for reconnaissance and infantry support if necessary. A total of 2,400 tanks existed in the German arsenal at the outbreak of war. These German armored vehicles were trained in the art of Blitzkrieg. Attacking enemy lines in strategic locations, cutting communications, forcing the enemy into a panicked retreat, and encircling all those who failed to do so was their main tactic. All the while, the German armor was supported by the German Air Force, the Luftwaffe, and enemy strongpoints were bypassed and mopped up by the following infantry units later on. The Luftwaffe truly became a critical role in the German Blitzkrieg, and one plane in particular, the Junkers 87 Stuka dive bomber, became a core element in the German strategy. This dive bomber was a sort of aerial artillery dropping pinpoint bombs relentlessly on the enemy while the rapidly advancing panzers moved up. Aerial supremacy was gained by the Luftwaffe within just two days against a largely inferior Polish air force. The Poles had an air force with many biplanes from the First World War along with outdated monoplanes, and against the BF-109 it was not much of a fight. On the ground it was not much better for the Polish army. They could muster a mere 500,000 men, including just 800 tanks and even 11 cavalry brigades. A true blast from the past, these cavalry units started with lances, but as the conflict progressed, they began using anti-tank guns to take on the German armor. In the end though, the outdated Polish equipment, tanks, and aircraft were no match for the German war machine in the new strategy of Blitzkrieg. The Polish used their limited tanks as separate infantry support, much like the Allies did in World War I, and like France would do in May to June of 1940 when the Germans crippled that nation. The Germans themselves only used this tactic when using lighter tank divisions. This strategy was a severe hindrance when facing the Blitzkrieg strategy. Also, Germany had a major geographic advantage over their Polish enemy. After Germany took over Czechoslovakia, Warsaw, the Polish capital, along with much of the western portion of the country, was surrounded. Germany's battle plan for the invasion was not just to push forward in a spearhead straight for Warsaw, and rather included deep pincer movements specifically designed to gain victory in the least possible amount of time with minimal casualties. The German Army Group North, commanded by Fede von Bock, would carry out two pincers one from northeast Germany, and the other from East Prussia. At the same time, the German Army Group South, commanded by Gerd von Rundstedt, would also carry out two pincers, one from Silesia, and the other from Slovakia. The pincers were to meet at Warsaw and Brest-Litovsk further east. The Germans witnessed immense success during their campaign, striking hard and slicing deep into the Poles and their country. After the Polish Air Force was destroyed, German Junkers 87 Stuka dive bombers and other medium bombers proved to be greatly effective, cutting the Polish supply lines and communications along with constantly bombarding their army positions and cities. The Polish army was ripped apart, isolated into separate army pockets that yielded vast amounts of prisoners and supplies. By September 8th, the inner pincers met up around Warsaw with the Germans advancing on the city and on the 17th, the outer pincers met at Brest-Litovsk. On the same day, Soviet troops, under agreement with Germany through the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact, invade from the east, putting the Polish army in full retreat. The Polish government began to flee abroad, 
and one especially defiant city fought on, Warsaw. The capital had refused to surrender and was facing the full wrath of the German military might. It was futile in the end, but it showed how perseverant and brave the Polish army and civilian populace really was. Finally, on September 27th, Warsaw surrendered, and the country was carved up between Germany and the USSR. The Soviets annexed a little over half of the country to the east, and Germany took the rest, including Warsaw. Both nations began their own forms of occupation, rounding up anyone opposing or threatening to Nazi Germany or the Soviet Union. Many were murdered. Germany also began to show how they would treat the peoples of Eastern Europe, whom they believed to be inferior. The Einsatzgruppen and other SS units were sent in, rounding up Poland's Jews and either killing them on the spot or sending them to ghettos in the major cities. Countless Jews would starve to death, and many would be shipped to labor in death camps as the war progressed. The Polish army, however, was not over, as more than 50,000 troops managed to escape. They eventually made it to France, and in the years to come, they would gain their revenge on Germany. There was also the Polish resistance, which fought the German occupation in Poland itself. While this was very dangerous and many were killed, these resistance fighters fought on anyway with immense courage and dedication to their cause. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, check out some of my others and please subscribe for more.